Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ted Carr here from Fruit Living. And in this video, I want to address the most important thing. All right, so the most important thing. All right, so the most important thing is not diet. People think diet is the most important thing. They focus everything on diet. They go all in on diet. Spend thousands of dollars on getting the diet just perfect, just tickety boo. While other people, they obsess over the fitness. To them, their fitness is the most important thing. Above everything else, they put fitness first. While other people, they put their career first, even above their family. They're like, you know what, career is the most important thing. Without my career, I am nothing. Without my career, I have no status, I have no identity. Career is everything. And other people put their family first. They say, you know what, family is first. My kids are first, my kids are priority, my kids are life. Without my kids, I am, life's not even worth living. Family is everything to me. So people have different priorities, or at least they think certain things are their priority. They think certain things are more important than what I'm actually about to talk about right now. So the most, So if it's not diet, and it's not fitness, and it's not family, and it's not career, what is the most important thing? Well, it's your emotions. Your emotions are the most important thing, because when you feel like shit, everything is shit. Life is shit. And when you feel great, everything is great. Like, everything is great. That's when you fall in love, you're in this honeymoon phase. The world is like heaven on earth. Like, everything is just so perfect. Everything is so funny. Like, the way this little camera strap is hanging right here is just so, it's so beautiful. And the way this little ring is just sitting here on the, on the couch is so perfect. And the way the breeze just washes in and hits my hair, it just feels so good. Everything feels good when your emotions are good. And if someone like, you know, uh, stubs their toe but they're in a good mood, it doesn't matter that they stub their toe because they're in a good mood. They're like, oh, I stubbed my toe. It's okay though. No worries. But if you're in a bad mood, and the wind comes, the breeze comes in and it, and it hits your face, you're like, oh, fucking wind, breeze, go away. Or if someone honks their horn, you're like, oh man, so annoying, so loud, what an idiot, why is, it, why is their alarm going off? Or if this little camera strap's here, you're like, oh, stupid camera strap, freaking move, man. Or if this ring is here, you're like, oh man, I don't even want this freaking ring anymore. And you just, everything, you're just like a little baby, upset, like nothing is cool when you're not cool. But when you're cool, everything's cool. So, it makes sense to prioritize emotions. Get in a good positive state first, and then watch how your day unfolds, watch how your life unfolds. If you wait until you're 60 before you start prioritizing your emotions, you've just, you've just uh, not optimized the first 60 years of your life. But if you're watching this video, however old you are, and you start prioritizing good emotions now, you're gonna optimize the rest of your life. Because like I said, when you're in a good mood, everything is good. When, when I used to take drugs like, um, acid or even like caffeine I always wonder like how come on the days that I take caffeine and the days I take acid like the day just seems to be so so like magical and so beautiful well that's because things like caffeine and LSD they increase your mood they elevate your mood they make you feel like they make you feel pretty good so just only thing that changes is that you feel really good and because you feel really good you look around you and you go through life everything is really good everything is very enjoyable you can just lie down and, and be on mushrooms or LSD and just like feel like wow this is like the best day ever and I'm just lying here. Now I'm not saying you should go do drugs, I'm not saying you should do acid or mushrooms or even caffeine, definitely not. But what I'm saying is that people take these drugs because they like the way it makes them feel. They like the effects that they get. But in this video I want to give you four or five ways of changing the way you feel for the better without the use of drugs. Right? These are called state changers. And when you start implementing these state changes into your day, your career is gonna improve, your family life is gonna improve, your relationships are gonna improve, your diet is going to improve, your fitness is going to improve. When you feel good, everything improves. When you feel good, everything's good. So let's get right into it. Five ways of changing your state for the better in the next 50 seconds, all right? Let's just plow through these things. The first one, cold showers. Join the cold shower culture, man. Get in there. Start with a warm shower, start with a warm shower, and then five, 10 seconds later, or at least at the end of your shower, then go super cold, then back to warm, super cold, back to warm, then super cold, and just leave it cold for a good 30 seconds and feel the empowerment that comes from having a nice cold shower. By the time the shower shuts off, you're gonna start laughing. You're like, oh my God, that felt so good. 
Next thing you can do is creatively express yourself. That's kind of what I'm doing right now on YouTube. You don't need to use YouTube for it. You can draw if you're a drawer. If you're a dancer, you can just dance to some music. And if you're not a dancer, dance when no one's watching. It's all good. But just creatively express yourself. When you start expressing things, then you start feeling really good. The opposite of expression is suppression. Whatever you suppress, and you don't want to suppress things because suppression turns to depression and depression turns to disease and disease turns to disintegration. So you want to reverse that spiral. You want to hit on that upward trajectory with creative expression. So I make you do videos or Snapchats or Instagrams. Do some writing, do some drawing, do some dancing, whatever you got to do. Help someone out maybe. Creatively problem solve and uh, you'll feel really good like that. Humans, we are creative beings. We are infinitely creative. When you're not expressing that creativity, then you're suppressing it. And like I said, suppression turns to dis depression. But we don't want to go there. We want to focus on the positive vibes. Uh, the third thing, the way to um, feel really good on a daily basis is to meditate. Simply sit down cross-legged like so. Set the timer on your phone for 5, 10, 15 minutes. Maybe 20 minutes if you want. Maybe even 45. Who knows? Up to you. And just be, just be, just be. I do it for 15 minutes every morning. Sometimes I do 20 minutes, sometimes I do 30 minutes. When I'm in a rush, I do at least five minutes. And on the days that for whatever reason I miss, I'm like, oh man, this day is just not the same. When I meditate, the day is good every single time. It just properly equips your brain, your hormones to be ready to take on anything the day has to throw at you. And it just makes you so cool, complected that you're like, feel like you're really creating your reality. Because we are, we all are creating our reality. But when you're meditating, it really reminds you and it really, uh, shows you that yes indeed you are creating your reality because when you're in a calm cool collected state everything around you seems to be totally controllable and malleable so it's really awesome when you're in a cool calm collected state going through your day and you can get there really easily with meditation but you got to practice meditation and if you do meditation just once it's like going to the gym just once and expecting to get really fit you've got to do it for at least a week at least a couple weeks to really start seeing and feeling changes so Meditate for sure. That would be the uh, third state changer. The other state changer, fourth one, would be, yeah, fitness. Go to the gym. Like I said, some people prioritize fitness above all else, and I think it's a pretty cool thing to prioritize because when you work out, you do feel better, definitely. Um, I saw a guy at the gym though yesterday, and he's wearing this big shirt, and he's like lifting really heavy, and it's got it on his back, it says, Lift Angry. That's like the, the motto for this company that he's uh, representing, I guess. Lift Angry. And it's actually been proven that guys can have heart attacks when they go to the gym and they're really in an upset state and they start lifting weights or doing cardio when they're really angry. Because when you're angry, you're tense. Clench your fist right now. Clench your fist really, really tight. That's the way some people's bodies are in. Some people's bodies are in a clenched state at all times. But you want to stay relaxed. You want to stay cool, calm, collected, like I said. But the cool thing about exercise is that you contract and relax, contract and relax, contract and relax. If you're not enjoying yourself at the gym, don't go to the gym. But if you don't enjoy running either, don't go for a run. So find something that you love to do when it comes to physical activity. Could be yoga, could be squats, could be push-ups, could be walking, could be running, could be swimming. But definitely get some fitness in. It definitely helps to get your heart rate up as well. Maybe you want to try a spin class or a rowing class or what have you. But just get your body moving. For sure you will feel better. Absolutely. Um, the fifth thing I would say to do to prioritize good emotions would be to stop consuming garbage content. Only consume content that reminds you of where you want to focus in life. Reminds you of how you can be the best version of yourself. Stop consuming content like pornography. Stop consuming content like gossip. Stop consuming content like breaking news. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, that stuff is ongoing. That stuff is perpetual. It's never ending. So instead of going down that hole of destruction, of darkness, focus on the, on the infinite creative ability within you and focus on maybe the people who are doing the things that you want to do in life and just learn from them, watch interviews of them and take notes and then go apply what they say. Actually take action. The best days of my life are the days when I take the most action. Output is the name of the game. If you want to have an awesome day, if you want to feel like, wow, this day was amazing, I can't wait to have another day like this tomorrow, I can't wait to have an entire life full of days like today, if you want that kind of experience, you've got to focus on output. Give, 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 give. And the more you give, it, the universe has a way, it's like whatever you put out, it just has to come back. You can't give without coming back. People are all about like, not all people, but some people are going around life thinking like, oh, what can I take, what can I take, what can I take? We're taught to be, we're taught to be um, go-getters, right? We're taught to be go-get something. We're, but you're not supposed to be a go-getter, you're supposed to be a go-giver. So give, 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 give. Start putting out stuff online or start going at your local community door to door and handing out stuff, start offering your services. Like I said, whatever you put out, it has to come back. That's just the law of the universe. 
What you put out is what you get back. It's one of the four laws of creation. There are only four laws of creation. We can quickly go through them right now if you want, since we've done all five ways of, uh, not all five ways, but we've covered five ways of making yourself feel good. Now let's briefly cover the four laws of creation, just because we can. This video isn't too long, but uh, these four laws of creation are really awesome. So let's get into them. Uh, the first one is you exist. You exist. And in some way, shape, or form, you always will. Immortality is real. It, we live in an infinite universe, so you exist and in some form you always will. Second law is what you put out is what you get back. That's what I just said. <laughs> you put out good vibes, you can get good vibes back. When you're feeling really good, you're going to open your eyes and you're going to see things that are really good. And vice versa, when you feel like crap, you look around everything's like, oh my god, this sucks. So what you put out is what you get back, prioritize good emotions. Third law of creation, we are all one. We are all one. I am you, you are me. We are all connected. If you hurt someone, you're really hurting everyone. If you hurt yourself, you're really hurting everyone. We're all connected. There's a butterfly effect here. What you do today is going to affect everything. Me making this video is going to change the course of humanity. We are all one. The fourth law of creation is that everything changes, except for the first three laws. So everything is in a constant state of change. Nothing stays the same. This is an absolute illusion that my hand is rock solid here. My hand is actually changing like a million molecules a second. This wall right here is changing at a million molecules a second. Uh, everything around you is constantly changing. Like if you just stood still right here for the next like 100,000 years and then put it on fast forward, you would see like everything just start like, like things would change. That's why a time lapse in nature are so cool. You just go on YouTube and type in like nature time lapse and you just see things change really quickly. But if you were just, without the time lapse, just sitting and staring at things, you wouldn't really see much change happen. So, um, it's, a, it's a law of the universe that everything changes, except for those first three laws. So, hope you got something from this video, guys. I wanted to give you five things that you can do every single day to feel really good. And I uh, just want to remind you to prioritize good emotions, because when you're feeling good, everything's good. It doesn't matter what happens in life when you're feeling good, because you're feeling good. Alright? So... Do what you can to be positive. Do what you can to get yourself in a good mental state. And uh, hope to see you in the next video. Peace out from Hilo, Hawaii. Hey, Ted. I just wanted to tell you in a series of snaps what I really like about your videos and what I get from them. I like that your message is always mostly the same and it's repeated a lot, so it's easy to understand. And you can see that you really live your message. I think it's cool that you eat super clean. I'm not there in my life yet, but I know that one day I will be. I like that you once stuttered and now you speak so confidently and you don't give a shit and I love that. I also like that you're Canadian, so hooray for that. I'm from Edmonton and